Zone 1 for successful landing. Our first stage had an on-time launch at 6.01 p.m. Eastern Standard but Time just a few minutes ago. Nominal trajectories. We had a nominal ascent and ideal stage separation. We just performed the first of three burns of the first stage, a boost back burn, and we're a little more than a minute away from that second burn, the entry burn. And so you see the second stage of the engine is still burning bright, uh, but on the first stage we've used most of our fuel during liftoff, and we only have so much RP-1 and liquid oxygen uh, to make those three burns. So instead of firing all nine Merlin 1D engines, we're only going to fire three of those for the boost back burn and entry burn, uh, the center Merlin engine and the two perimeter engines. We're just about 20 seconds away from that entry burn beginning, and it'll last about 30 seconds all the way to T plus seven minutes. Stage one entry burn started. We've heard the call out. You can see it visually. Our second entry burn has begun and will last for just a few more seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. Two burns down, one to go. The landing burn is our Both last vehicles burn. vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. It'll occur in about 30 seconds, and it lasts for about 30 seconds all the way until landing. FDS is saved. You can see Cape Canaveral coming into view. In terms of fuel, fuel conservation, we only fire one Merlin engine on this final burn. Engine number nine, the center engine. Stage one, entry transonic. Stage one running bird started. Our landing burn has begun. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. You see the landing, landing legs are deploying. Deploy. Falcon and has landed, landing off there is doing procedural loading dot 100. And the Falcon has landed. Congratulations to everyone here at SpaceX for another successful landing. For those of you keeping score, this is our 44th successful first stage recovery. This is our secondary mission at SpaceX. It's our commitment to vehicle reusability. Back to our primary mission.